if you say oh, I'd really like to you'd really like Field in England and like to work with me and I was, again I'd never think of contacting these people because they seem too too far away, too big, you know. But it yeah, all came together really beautifully like that. Brilliant. Um, I think Tom has a special treat up his <laughs> sleeve or in his hand. It's, it's, Sorry, so, so I, was, I knew I was going to come here this morning and I was um, making a coffee and I was looking at my bookshelf and I saw uh, this collection of J.G. Ballard interviews and I, it's in, um, we've had an extraordinary, Ben and I have had an extraordinary time the last couple of weeks we've been going to, we went to Toronto Film Festival um, and San Sebastian in Spain and now we're here and we've been talking about the film and I've been talking about this interview that J.G. Ballard gave in 1978 with a, a reporter called John Savage and it sums up so much of why I think High Rise is powerful. Um, and there's something in Ballard's prophetic vision um, about being able to somehow see where we were going. Um, his warning here, I think, he used to say he was holding up a road sign as we all rushed past on the, on the highway which said, caution, bends ahead. Not bends ahead. <laughs> <laughs> But he, so it's, he was always, and I found like, you know, this, the, 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 uh, the sort of the warning embedded in high rise is, is, is um, replacing nature with technology. You know, Lang, Lang can't get away, he, he moves into the high rise to get away from real life and he's confronted by real life in a more extreme way. And anyway, I, I'll just read you the interview and it, it's about Ballard's um, prophecy of our adherence to technology and I find this so fascinating because I don't know how many people are filming this right now. Um, please don't feel implicated by what I'm about to read. Um, but it does speak to you. Uh, so this is it from an interview and I think I'll just find where the interview starts. So this is originally published in Search and Destroy 1970. <laughs> it's going on fine. Here we go. Um, Savage says, do you watch television? Yes, all the time. I enjoy it. Um, I think the biggest, this is, remember, this is 1978. Okay? Two TVs, four channels, maybe even three. Um, I think the biggest development over the next 20 or 30 years are going to be through the introduction of VHS systems. And I don't mean the cassette thing or playback gadgets, that in itself would be revolutionary. But when I say every room in everyone's house or flat has a camera recording what's going on, the transformation of the home into a TV studio, a creation of a new kind of reality, a reality that's electronic. And perhaps only in the short term, in, in the same way that you, when you at last get a camera, you spend your time photographing children playing in a paddling pool. But after a while, you get more ambitious and you start taking an interest in the world at large. And I think the same thing will happen, beginning with people endlessly photographing themselves. <laughs> Shaving, having dinner together, having domestic rounds. Of course, the bedroom applications are obvious. <laughs> And I think it'll go beyond that to the point where each of us will be at the center of a sort of non-stop serial with all kinds of possibilities let in. Um, then Savage says, they always say that people fantasize about making love with somebody else. Is this just a logical extension of that? And Ballard responds, I can see that coming. But I can see a huge extension of video. Live material will be accessible at the press of a button so that as now, you can dial a poem or a record of the weather, you'll be able to see a visual input of all the newsreel material filmed yesterday in Los Angeles from a London suburb. The greatest TV show on earth, I can see that happening. One will have access to a vast amount of filmed information of every conceivable kind. One will be able to merge one's own identity with a huge flux of images of various kinds being generated elsewhere. And I think that's just testament to Ballard's genius. Ben, Tom, thank you so much for being here today and congratulations on a truly brilliant work of cinema. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming here. Thank you.